Hi there, Risha. I'm looking forward to our speaking test today, and I promise this time I will actually be there. My apologies for the mix-ups the last few days. One of them was entirely my fault. I do feel quite bad about it. But let's get on with the work and correct this essay. So here I would say, while some people assert that exercise is the best method of keeping the body fit and healthy, others hold the view that eating a balanced diet is more beneficial. This essay agrees that a well-proportioned, a well-proportioned, these spaces aren't necessary, just the hyphen between the two words. This essay agrees that a well-proportioned diet is crucial for the healthy development of the body. Uh, this essay will explore both points of view. Discuss or explore, that's fine. An active lifestyle develops An active lifestyle develops both the physical and mental growth of the body. In fact, comma, exercise is one of the most important factors in keeping body weight at a healthy level. Let's not repeat ourselves. And we've done the same thing here as well. So let's say keeping body weight at a healthy level. However, body mass can also be managed with healthy eating habits. Let's combine this into one. Weight, uh, sorry, body mass can also be managed with healthy eating habits. And so workouts are not the only way to strengthen the body. For example, a recent survey by the Department of International Health, uh, let's say, a recent survey uh, by the Department of International Health in the US proved that body weight could be managed, I think we have a bit of a mistake there, could be managed by an equitable diet without overexerting we could have a hyphen there without overexerting the body at the gym i would use something along these lines at the end of this paragraph one sec also you are Five words under the word count on this essay. Um, it's a little bit short. When writing, you should always try to go for around about 270, 280 words. Because if you don't hit the 250, you will not score above a band 5 in task and achievement. All IELTS task 2 essays specifically say um, you must write at least 250 words. There is no upper limit, but if you write too much extra that is not necessary, then you will also lose points. The key is to write the correct amount um, of appropriate information. So, further, a balanced diet is vital for the proper functioning of organs and tissues. In addition, good eating habits reduce the risk of certain diseases, infections, as well as fatigue. We could, instead of constantly asserting our opinion in the body paragraphs, we should try to write in a more detached manner. What we could say here, we could say something, we could comment further on this by saying, uh, more specifically, a malnourished body often has a compromised immune system resulting in an increased rate of illness. For instance, a USDA, a USDA report 
suggests that four out of the top ten leading causes of death in the US are influenced by diet. Okay, so we've got these the wrong way around. Four out of the top ten leading causes of death, namely heart disease, stroke, cancer and diabetes, are influenced or are strongly influenced by diet. And then we should say something like, it is therefore evident that intake of food or the diet should be a top priority when considering health. To conclude, while regular exercise can manage weight, diet can reduce cases of deadly disease. Therefore, a balanced diet should be or should be prioritized over physical exercise. I would, if you're going to use quotes and sayings, it should be done here. Because this is like, um, it feels a little bit like adding extra information on the end. And this should be as per the famous saying, we are what we eat. And I think I would change this by to through. We could be more active and fit through healthy eating habits. But I feel like all of the times that I added and or the or an or a would have actually gotten you above the word count. So you don't need to worry too much about the word count. Focus more on your um, articles and prepositions. I'll see if I can dig out um, some articles work for you to get you up to scratch. So actually, okay, so you're at 151 words here, which is fine. So, dear Mr. Jane, I am writing to formally notify you of my resignation from my position at WIPRO. I would say something here like, uh, while I have appreciated all that the company has done, I was recently offered a new opportunity with a company headquartered very close to my home and have decided to take their offer. That's great. You have like almost no mistakes in this sentence. That's really, really good. According to my contract with Wipro, I am obliged to give one week's notice, which means, um, let's say my final day of work will be the 20th of July. I should have no problems completing my work during that uh, during the next week. However, I will be returning my uniform and company laptop on the 20th of July. Once again, I appreciate all that you have given me over the years, and I will never forget all of the incredible people that I have met that I have had the pleasure of working with throughout these years. Further, further to this, I would like to request that you that you pay my remaining dues at your earliest convenience. I wish the firm continued success in the future. Yours sincerely, Risha. Really good. Um, is this who you actually work for? Are you writing this with passion? <laughs> but yeah, no, you're you're much improving, Risha. Uh, I'm really pleased to see um, such clarity in your writing. Like I said, I'll dig you out for your task two, um, some work on articles, so that you can increase your word count slightly and increase your accuracy. But I'll send this over to you now. All the best, pal. I'll speak to you later today.